What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ryan Tootie, and I bet from reading the title and seeing the thumbnail, you might be a little bit confused. Let me indulge you in what today's video is all about. I am going to be doing a challenge here on the channel, and basically, you have a portable lake, and the way this challenge is going to work, only place things in the portable lake, right? So I can't put anything outside of the portable lake. I can put the lake anywhere I want, but all of my towers have to be on the lake at all times. I can't have anything outside the towers. I can't use any like tax or anything like that to put down to give us an advantage. It has to be just those and I can't use any cash drops or anything like that, okay? It's gonna be a little bit crazy guys, but I think overall it's gonna be really fun. We need to find a good map for this. Basically, we need a map where they'll be able to hit everything for the most part. I feel like end of the road is going to be our best bet. Maybe cubism. I think cubism is actually going to be our best bet. We're going to go with cubism and obviously we're going to have to play on, we're going to, uh, let's do medium guys. We're going to actually do medium difficulty here. I would say we should do hard difficulty, but I've never done this challenge before. And if you guys want to see me try this on the hardest difficulty, hit that like button, subscribe as well as turning on notifications. It means the world to me when you guys do and lets me know you want to see more of this awesome content. So. First things first is we have our lake to put down, right? So I think, I think right here is probably our best bet for the lake, right? I think right in the middle of the map, that gives us the most like reach, right? That gives us the best option. And so now, where do we, where do we, what do we want to do? So I think money is a big issue for us, right? So maybe we get, we get merchant men as quickly as possible, right? So we want to put these guys down. And we need to, we need, remember guys, we need to cram these guys in. Okay. There we go. Okay, remember, so they have to be able to fit inside this. If they don't fit inside this little barrel thing, it's a no-go. Doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't work. We have no, no need for any of these shenanigans, right? So they are gonna have to fit within this small little area and we'll have to see how it goes guys i'm pretty confident that we're going to be able to pull it off all we have to do is get to round 60 so i'm pretty happy pretty confident that's going to work but i don't know i think the first thing i want to do though is i want to get merchantmen right because merchantmen is going to what to make our lives a lot easier right and we need 2300 in order to get the first merchantman and so if we save up and we get that, then we're gonna start getting the money rolling. It's gonna start flowing in, okay? And then we can start getting more merchantmen. We're gonna be able to start getting more and crazier stuff, which is gonna be just what we need, okay? I, see, here's some options that we have. What we could do is we could put a, uh, a pontoon on the thing like that, right? I'm pretty sure we could put a pontoon, pontoon on the portable lake. Wait, guys, I have a weird, Wait a minute, guys, I have a... Okay, I wanna try something. This might be the biggest waste ever, but I wanna try something. If we put a portal, if we put a portable lake down, okay? And then, can you put a pontoon on a portable lake? No, you cannot, okay. So you can't put a pontoon on a portable lake. So that is, that is a no-go. So it has to be water towers only, guys. If you wanna see me do this challenge, but only with a pontoon on a water map, let me know and maybe we'll give that a try. Oh, wait. All right, there we go, merchant man. Yeah, we're starting to make money. Okay, we gotta turn this guy into a merchant man now too. We gotta just turn all of these into merchant men. That's the first, that's the first order of business, obviously, okay? All merchant men, because merchant men, believe it or not, can hit all types of towers. They can hit literally everything, right? They can hit leads and they can also hit camo balloons. And so they're not the strongest tower by any means, but they're gonna get the job done. I'm not really worried about anything. Especially with them starting to make some some pretty serious income. We're gonna be more than fine using just this tower Eventually, I think I'd want to have a submarine in here as well But submarines are pretty pretty big, right? So I don't know if I want to get a submarine just yet I think I want to just stick to merchantmen for now and eventually I kind of want to think about getting grape shot soon But for right now, I think we're doing more than fine. We're not gonna need grape shot but more, more merchantmen. Let's see, what does this upgrade do? Generate lots of money per round and monkey sold in radius get more cash back. That's pretty good, but that's really expensive. I think for now we need to kind of work on our defense, which we're just gonna need. We're gonna need grape shot. Um, we're also gonna want that. And then we're also gonna want the next level of grape shot on this guy as well. And we just wanna get a bunch of mer merchantmen, right? I don't know why I keep having such trouble. There we go. 
Look at that. Look at that. We're not having any problems defending now. Even on round 16, these guys are doing a great job. They're making us lots of money, too. I think the first thing we're going to want... It costs 5000 for the merchant trades, but I think that's what we want. I'm pretty sure that that's what's going to give us the most amount of money in the end. Because the merchantmen aren't giving us a ton of money. They're giving us an okay amount, but not, not the amount that we're really looking for, right? We're looking for a lot more. And it's going to cost a lot of money to get there. The burning is so good. It just, as soon as the burns up, balloons are on fire, the, they just go downhill from there. We're, they're able to defend round 21 and they're just still going strong, guys. Problem is, I can't put anything down outside of these, right? So we have to be careful. There we go. Favorite trades. There we go. Look at that. Now it's going to start making us $500 a round. Is that ser is serious? Wait. Yeah, it's $500 per round. Yeah, it's 500 per round. That's insane. I think these guys give me 200 per round. So, hmm. Oh man, those were those are very tanky. There we go. Next one is 550. We got this, guys. We just need more. That's all we need, okay? Are we able to deal with them? Yeah, we're, we're, we can deal with them. A, a, a solid line of red balloons, we're not going to have any problems with that. Okay, maybe we're going to have a problem when they start sending blue balloons. Oh, and now green balloons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and now yellow balloons! I was not ready for this! Okay, never mind. I lied. I was completely ready for this. Okay. Okay, we're going to want to put... There we go. We're going to want to put you down. And more money! Yes! There we go. We also want to turn this guy into favorite trades. Actually, no, we can get a... Oh, my goodness. How many can we please... To, oh, wait, wait. There we go. Okay, we can fit four in here. This is what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, these guys are dealing with pretty much everything right now. Eventually, we're probably going to need to sell these guys, right? We're going to have to eventually sell them. But for right now, we're going to just make as much money as we possibly can, okay? And then what we can do is... I like, guys. I like this guy being a merchant man, but I don't think it's what we need. I think what we're gonna have to do, guys, is we're gonna have to make this guy into like an airship, right? We're gonna sell this guy and we're gonna turn him into favorite trades. I kind of want to get a uh, a submarine down. You know, I feel like having a submarine down is gonna be really good. These guys have good, decent range, so we want to turn this guy into. So probably, what's this? Triple guns. And then armor piercing, and what's this? Sub commander adds to all subs in the radius. See, first strike, a devastating the largest balloon on screen. That's gonna be nice. I think we're gonna want airburst. Oof. Allows long range targeting balloons on radius of your other towers. But isn't that what. Oh, that's what advanced intel is. I probably want heat tip darts, right? Yeah, so we want barb darts, heat tip darts, and we also want twin, twin guns and air burst darts and triple guns. And then armor. So special AP darts inflict more damage to Moab class balloons. That's going to be pretty nice to have. Problem is this guy has like no range, right? He has very, very small range. 23, um, up to 20 other merchantmen by the number of merchantmen. Um, yeah, we want the trade empire. That costs 23,000, but I think we want to get that so we can just get even more money, right? And then once we have that, we're going to be good to go. We're making a, we're making some decent progress. How many is this guy popping? Is this guy popping like... I feel like he's not doing a lot. You know, like, I feel like he could be doing more. These guys are all popping way more. Why is the trade stations doing more than this guy? I feel like he's just not doing his part. Oh, I, to be fair, he doesn't even have range. Okay, they don't even have, he doesn't have range. That's why he's not hitting him. I can't, I guess I can't complain if he actually, he literally just can't hit them. Once they're in range though, he starts really messing them up. <laughs> Let's turn this guy, because once we get the trade empire, that's going to be so much more money. So each one is making us $500, right? So let's see how much money we get at the end of the round. All right, come on. Okay, that was, oh, can we deal? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, we want armor piercing darts on this guy. Because the armor piercing, it says it's better for against Moab class balloons. So that's going to be really, really nice. We're starting to make a decent amount of money. I might consider taking one of these guys and start going the other route with him. So that he becomes even more powerful, right? So we might want to get one of these guys here. Let's look. Let's look at the upgrades. So I kind of want to get a monkey pirate. Grapples a Moab class balloon and brings it down. See... That costs 4,500. 
That only costs 21,000. See, I kind of want the carrier flagship. That's kind of what I want the carrier flagship. We're going to sell. We're selling this and getting the carrier flagship. So let's see. I know this guy can fit up here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Time out. Time out. We have to see where this guy. This guy can. There we go. Nope. There we go. Okay. So we want the carrier. So we probably want. Do we want crow's nest? Allows to hit camo balloons. Camo balloons are a problem. Yeah, we probably want long range and crow's nest. And then we want faster shooting, double shot, destroyer, aircraft carrier. Carrier flagship costs 25,000. And on top of that, we can put another tower on top of that because technically it's still in the radius right so once we do that we can put any type of tower we want on top of it i'm thinking maybe like a super monkey or something because as soon as we do that like i said another tower like oh come on absolutely we're gonna want to do that i'm not like oh i i think a super monkey is probably what we oh my gosh that scared me so badly i forgot that these guys oh wait we let's turn on the auto start now now that that's over with we need 25,000 in order to get it. Are we going to be able to? Oh, wow. We already have it. Okay. Boom. Flagship carrier. Now we can put two things on top of that. I'm thinking a sniper monkey would be pretty good. Let's see. I mean, see, the problem is we don't have a lot of room. I don't know if a super... Unfortunately, a super monkey doesn't actually fit up there. So maybe a sniper. I think sniper would be really nice to have. Let's get a sniper. We're gonna put we're gonna put a sniper. We'll put him right here actually. And then we're gonna obviously we're gonna get large caliber and then we're gonna go full auto. And look, now now we basically don't even have any problems. This guy, he just deals with everything. No worries whatsoever. And now we're making a decent amount of money. We can start thinking about what's the next the next upgrade. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to put any helicopters up there. We could put like an ice monkey up here, but I don't know, his radius is actually pretty small. Bomb tower. We can put a bomb tower down. We can put a normal dart monkey. What would be a good... Let's see. I feel like a druid could actually be really powerful here. Like the, the, the druid that does like the, re the... Puts the thorns down. But that is pretty expensive. Maybe an alchemist. Can we put a... Can we put a tower up? No. So we can't... No tower. Can we put a tag? We can't put the tax down. Okay, we have a lot of money, so it's just a matter of what's probably the... We can put that down, but it's not really even in range, you know? I feel like just another sniper would be amazing, right? Like, I feel like another sniper is just going to be exactly what we need. We could put a wizard up here. Let's do a wizard. And then on top of that, I feel like we want the Prince of Darkness, right? Let's get, let's get the Prince of Darkness, and we probably also want to get... He's not in range. Let's do wall of fire. Wall of fire is going to be good. Now that we have wall of fire, it's, we're just good to go. I can't believe we fit literally all of this in that one little spot. This is ridiculous, but at the same time, amazing. Okay. What's this little guy doing? We're going to sell him. I want to get the pirate now. Okay. There we go. Okay, do we want the faster shooting or the crow's nest? Probably long range that, and then we're gonna want monkey pirates. All right, let's see if we, if we can get the pirate lord now, right? Pirate lord. I can't believe you can fit all of these towers in that one little circle. This is crazy. We could very, very easily be done, get the, um, the hardest. We can definitely do the hardest difficulty, guys. If you guys want to see me do the hardest difficulty, smash that like button, guys. I know you guys want to see it because this would be, this is going to be crazy. Like, we're going to get through this without even, like, having to try, it feels like. This was so simple. There we go. Last round. Guys, that was so easy. That was so easy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to hit that like button, subscribe as well as turning on notifications. It means the world to me when you guys do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another awesome video. Bye, everybody. Whoa!